Hey guys, it's Veron from Speaker of the Stars, and today we are doing another traditional drawing. This time, it is an installment for the Flora series, which I have been doing on my channel almost every month. Um, if you don't know what this is, if you are new to the channel, uh, there's a series that I do every month with, um, with Flower of the Month. So if you're familiar with birthstones, it's just pretty much like birth flowers. So I would research more or less a little bit on what the flower is and what the flower usually conveys. And I will try to do like a postcard, trading card-esque sort of drawing to try and convey or feature that flower. So for the month of June, we have the rose. Now the rose is one of the most popular and the most well-known flowers. I mean... I think everyone has more or less seen a rose or seen the imagery of a rose. Uh, you see it a lot during Valentine's. It's a flower you see a lot in media. It's pretty much everywhere. So the challenge here was to use the rose. I don't know. There, was there a challenge? Not really. <laughs> now that I think about it, I didn't really particularly force myself to do something with it. But let's first talk about what the rose represents. So the rose would represent humility, chastity, sweetness, return to happiness, love, gratitude, appreciation, and devoted affect affection. Pleh, I stumbled in my words. Hmm. So I, for this particular piece, I didn't really latch on to any particular theme. F for the first drawings that I did for the first half of the year, I always tended to attach to a particular meaning of the flower. But because the rose is really sim, um, it really tends to symbolize love, I just sort of went with it, I guess. Because even with the sketching face, I just do, did two thumbnails, and I immediately stuck to one, and I don't know. Like, it's really simple, it's pretty straightforward, the theme wasn't too deep in, in terms of like how I depict it. I, I tended to latch a bit more onto like laying you down on the bed of roses type of imagery. But it is really simple and for some reason I really like how it turned out. I guess because there isn't a lot of detail or mm, how do I put this? It isn't as complicated and busy as the previous pieces that I feel it's a bit more refreshing to look at when you see the first five drawings in the series. Will I keep on doing something this simple? No, not really. Because the goal of the Floracies, aside from it being a monthly challenge, is I wanted to do a bit more detailed work and, you know, like using thinner lines, creating more details, creating more complexity in the drawings. But, of course, there has to be some pieces that need to be a bit more compositionally simpler. And I think Rose is one of those really nice straightforward pieces i didn't really have much problem with this piece this month usually i have some difficulty like trying to get the flowers um incorporated or it's really you know it's a bit tough on the hand to do a lot of repetitive motion so like there's a ton of roses but because i'm really familiar with drawing the rose from the top view like for some reason it's somewhat easier for me to draw the rose than any other flower i think because i practiced it a lot when i was a lot younger and it's one of the flowers i practiced first so i do have a mental image of how to draw the rose it's basically a spiral with some oblongy shapes basically so it was pretty fast it is faster than my usual speed paints for the flora series or speed draw whatever Also, since this is the sixth, well, it's not really a sixth month since I started the Floracies in February, I think, or like the end of February. So it's like maybe the fourth month I've been doing the Flora series. I've been trying to push myself a little more in terms of coloring because one of the other goals I had, it was a sub mission, a sub goal for the Flora series was 
I started it because I wanted to practice using the polychromos that I got for my graduation in 2016. Though I did get the actual coloring pencils in 2017 already, but um, I wanted to practice using them because I noticed that I still defaulted towards using watercolors. It's my main medium. It's the one I'm most comfortable using, and it's the most it's the one that I have the most skill with. But I did want to learn and use and find techniques on how to use colored pencils. My problem with colored pencils is that I don't have a lot of patience. I like covering areas quickly and efficiently. Not that colored pencils aren't efficient, but it tends to take up a lot more time compared to watercolor where you just sort of spread the water around and add pigment and it's like there. So I wanted to do the f- I wanted to do the flora series because it was number one on a smaller canvas and number two it would force me to do smaller, faster and more refined techniques I guess. So with a big piece you can sort of cover up a little bit the areas and it will make me like lazy immediately. But with a small piece like this, I need to be careful with the details, where I'm coloring, how I'm blending the colors. So I need to be precise. And I think I've come somewhat of a long way. I mean, comparing like the one for January, quote unquote. <laughs> um, like with, with the first piece that I did, it doesn't visually look too different from Rose, but I've gotten faster with colored pencils and I've been taking a bit more steps in layering and blending the colors together. Um, I'm not having as much difficulty getting skin tones anymore. I've learned to like lighten my touch a bit with the colored pencils. So I'm sort of happy that I'm making progress. I still do watercolor works a lot, but there's a bit more of an even spread with colored pencils now. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to expand to other mediums sometime, but uh, I'll deal with that sometime else. Actually, there's something I I told myself before recording to, to sort of mention this, but I only remembered now. Um... You may have noticed that my setup is a bit brighter than the previous videos, and that's because I finally, 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 finally bought a new, or rather, an additional desk lamp. So it's an LED lamp. It's by the brand Sunshine. It wasn't too expensive. I think I got it for... I actually don't know where where else you can buy this, because I didn't get this off Lazada. I got this off of some different store. Uh, it was less than 500 pesos, I think, so it was pretty cheap. Um, it's acting as an additional light, and I'm really happy that the color balance wasn't screwed up when pairing with my other lamp. Because in the past drawings, I was using like this standard, um, what do you call this? Incandescent? No, it's, is, is this incandescent? It's a standard light bulb. It's in a cool cooler. It's a, it's a warm, cool, <laughs> it's a cool yellow tone. So I was worried that the bluer-ish LED lamp would clash with the color but thankfully it didn't and it's providing a bit more a lot more light to the to the video so the shadows in my well the shadows in my video aren't as harsh or aren't as like grainy so I was hoping it would be able to do that somehow of course the video camera on an S6 isn't as you know clear or defined as the current cameras but it did help a lot so yeah, yeah, I got a new lamp, and you could expect brighter and more well-lit videos in the future. I like it so far, I've been using it like, it has like three different settings, but I've been using it for the past two drawings, I think, um, after Rose, so you can, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, I think. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, we are jumping into the preview right now. As you can see, my desk is so nice and bright and color balanced. I'm so happy it's not clashing with my overhead light. It's not clashing with my lamp light. It's not clashing with my walls. Whew, it's a good day. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video or subscribe to me if you enjoy this kind of content. I do a lot of anime 
uh, fan art, traditional art, digital art. I just draw a lot in general. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt if you want to see the like, quips or a more high resolution version of this drawing. And I will see you around.